Hi right, guys, welcome back. Uh, decided to do part two of the video on the same day, so it's been a few hours. While I was set up, I thought I would go through everything. So, not the dog out the road. So, a couple of things we're going to look at. We've got some tanks down here. I'm going to charge up, yeah, different size tanks. Air. Uh, there's a CO2 on there, I just want to explain about that in a minute. Some fittings, uh, deionized water. I have dropped the oil and I put my own oil in, so I took the cover off, cleaned it out, put the uh, relief valve on as well, as you can see. So, yeah, things seem to be working all right. I've, I've had one go, but I haven't really charged anything properly. I'm going to take the, uh, the water... I can't find it. I'm going to put a new one of these in. These are like cotton. I just thought I'd show you doing that. Uh, and by the way, I've ordered another pack of these. 50, I think, for like £7. And also the gold, uh, where these go in, that gold thing there. Uh, I've ordered another one of them with the fittings on where they can just daisy chain in. So I can put, instead of buying the replacement with the long ones you get, I've just bought two small ones, so it'll be the same. I can also use it on my stirrup pump uh, if I need to, yeah? So what I'll do is, I'm gonna change this now. Okay, hey guys. So, these things stick in quite, quite uh, tight, so you need something like sharp to get in and pick it out. Shoot my knife. It's a bit of a pain. But once you get it out, there you go. So that's the one what was originally in, and you can see it's been used, and it's actually done some job. So there's a bit of oil there, and it, it smells like it smells like oil, which what's probably in the manufacturing process. So what I'm going to do is, and that's fine. I wouldn't change it normally. Uh, I'm just going to make sure there's nothing in there. It's dry. I will uh, put a new one in. And by the way, the other one I'm getting, second one, comes with a, like foster fittings, so you can just plug it into this, and then you've got another one at that end. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put ca uh, carbon in one and one of these in the other one. So one's going to be carbon and one's going to be one of these uh, activated carbon. Or you could put two in, it doesn't really matter. Okay, let me just kneel down a bit because I'm kneeling on the floor here. It's a bit awkward to, to do the video. Okay, so a couple of fittings we've got for the air gun. We'll do, I'll do this first. This one's got zero in it. This one's got 2,000 in. And this one's got 3,000 in, so this is a 4,500 PSI one. This is a 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. So I'm going to top this one up, fill it up fully, fully fill that one up, top that one up, probably leave that one. I just thought I'd show you. Uh, that's a carbon fiber wrapped one, if anyone's interested. The standard. I'll just take it out. Yeah, it's the standard. Ugh, brand new. Yeah. I'll just keep it in there bit for protection obviously. Um, damage the thing. These things aren't cheap. So the water's on. Temperature is at 22.8 centigrade. This thing gets so hot, so make sure that nothing's touching because it might bend through the armor. So it is a silicon rubber, but just make sure that you're not touching there. Pump's working. Uh, this is open. <clears throat> yeah and that's all connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to monitor this and monitor this while I'm going. So it's going to be noisy, so just have to bear with me. Okay, it should now. And we're putting air in now. Okay, oh, get warm. 1,000. 1,000. 2,000 there, there you turn it off at two and a half, temperature 35 on the 
Ross Calvin Hire, 2000 PSI, and then got that. And there's 3,000. <laughs> Blew that. Uh, oh, that was just that. Um, this is loose, obviously, for it's like a drain. And it just blew off a bit, that's all. So that goes in a hole at the bottom. That's that done. The bottle's quite warm, as it should be. So there's no air in there now, so we can take that off. And there's your 3,000 PSI just on the red. Bottle's warm to the touch. So that's that done, guys. It's got a 4.5 burst disc on the, on the high pressure side and on the low pressure side it's got 1.8 uh, 1000 on the low pressure so what that means is if you the regulator is it's going to put out about 800 to 1000 PSI 900 if you tweak that so it come out <laughs> more then obviously it's going to blow out that that's just uh, some PTFD take off don't need that on but I had a fit and wear. So that, that's that one done guys. Works perfect. Temperature wise, this thing is like hot. So the water is back down to 31. So that was literally minutes. I didn't time it, but it went. It wasn't long at all. Worked a dream. That's one done. We can put that out the road. Over there. Same fit in there, lovely. So that's in, all done. I don't want any kinks on there to be honest. So what I'm gonna have to do is try and have it a little bit. That's better. Maybe there. That's not too bad. Okay. So the only thing we've got now is that as a gauge to go by. We know that's working because we've checked. We were looking at the gauge on here, which is at uh, 3,000, and that matched up to 3,000 on there, yeah? So we know that that's working, yeah? Cool. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to charge this up. I'm not going to fully charge it up, but we're going to put uh, a good charge in it. Let's have a look. This one's made in the uh, Czech Republic. Yeah. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to check the water, make sure that's all okay, make sure that's all there. <coughs> this is an S200, so it does go to uh, 2,900 psi. I'm going to put just 2,000 in, say just, I'm going to put 2,000 in. I've just, uh, yeah, it's cooled back down again. Temperature at 28. Uh, I need to have the bone open because it was coming out of the barrel. Okay. We only had a thousand PSI. Temperature is 36. I'm going to turn it off. We're getting ready now. There you go, there's your 2000 PSI. Done. So that's that done. That is this done. Okay. Answer on. Uh, this thing is super quiet. So there you go. Only trouble about this, it's got no gauge on. Oh, yeah, I can see it. So.
his leg in a little bit. What? We're up over 100, 100, just about, just a tad over 100 bar there. Okay. Fantastic. Still does not even warm. So there's that. So I know that works now. And it'll just that, fix that. And there's the cap end. Again, there's that. It's all done. And we let that cool down a little bit. And the water temperature is at 34. Yeah. So this uh, working pressure, this is 270 bar, uh, but and this is as new. Uh, there's not no damage to it at all. Uh, things kept in good condition. So I'm going to just put 2,000 in. So 3,000, obviously it's a, it's a 3,000 psi, but I'm only putting two in. If I was going to use it uh, on the day, then I'd put the three in. Uh, but I'd probably carry this one instead, and that as a backup type of thing. Uh, like I said, this one's 4,500 psi, and it's got a 1.8 burst disc on the low pressure side, and a 7.5 burst disc, 7.5 thousand psi, uh, 7,500 7, psi burst. Yeah, I'm mean, going to go to six on the gauge. So I tend to leave it around about three. That, that, it's a lot of pressure. If anyone's ever seen one of these things go bang, they're, they're, they're not a joke. Uh, so if this thing is a working pressure of 4,500. I take another thousand off that, and I'm happy to just keep chopping it up. Uh, and have that little bit less pressure. That's cooled down now. So it's cooled down a little bit and it's dropped a little bit off that, but that's going to give me 250 shots uh, on the paintball gun. Uh, so once that goes into the gun, I'm not sure if anyone wants to see that, I'll show that. It's a RAP4 uh, M4 and it just clicks on. And obviously, I can, uh, what I can do is if it runs out and I'm carrying one of these as well on my back and a, a flexi hose. When it runs out I can just connect it again and I'm running up and running it off to dismantle and type it. And I'm also charge it up as well from there. So that's done. Uh, what I'll do is another video later on filling these up with CO2. Obviously you want to wait empty, zeroed, and then put put uh, add 88 grams to the weight of it. So you want somewhere to wait. Uh, and again, these can these can go on the same guns. Good. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to top this off. That's cooling down now. It's down to yeah, body temperature. I wish I had me. Uh, I could go upstairs and get it, but I can't be bothered. But anyhow, that's open. That's connected. Let's do a timer on this. Okay, so it's on. Yeah. 
55 centigrade on the water. This thing will probably be. Yeah, it's like a part of an iron. Balls nice and warm. Two thousand is there. One minute fifty seconds. One thousand five hundred. 600, I'm nearly there now. Just gonna go over a tiny bit. <coughs> so when it cools down, two minutes. Just over 2,000 PSI. Very good. Made the mistake of cranking this, taking this off too quick. Uh, and you can see the water, there's some water coming out, out of the uh, lining. So the water trap here is working. A little bit of water there. Yeah. This is warm. Is that done? Oh, this is, I don't know if you can hear that, it's like an iron, can you see, that is hot guys, so 51 on the water, the sump, cool, the cylinder, the piston, is, I can feel it, it's hot, but it's, I can hold my finger on it. Okay guys, that concludes the video for this uh, air compressor. <coughs> Hope you liked the, what we've just talked about. Uh, I, like I say, leave, if you've got anything to comment, leave it below. Uh, this thing is fantastic. I'll just show you around. I don't think I've showed you around. If you haven't already, uh, give us a like. I would appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed, so keep an eye out for the new, any new videos I do. It would be appreciated if you would drop us a sub. There it is from the sides. Fantastic little unit. I haven't really showed you close up I don't think. Just holding the camera so it's a bit uh, wobbly. There's a gauge. And then there's a button for turning it on and off. This is the temperature gauge. Just goes into like a... It's been drilled out and just drops in. You can see there's a fan at the back which blows through. But overall, top notch. I'm so pleased about this. It's just made life a lot easier. Uh, so nothing more I can say really. Uh, good guys, what I'll do is I'll I will be back with an update. And if I do anything for the with the cooling side of it, I'll let you all know because it's really important. Good guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.